Congratulations! If you are viewing this video, it means that your school is starting to use ParentSquare. ParentSquare is a safe and secure modern approach to communication and collaboration between school and home. It is a central hub for all school-wide, classroom, grade level, and group messages, as well as private messages. Everything you need to know comes right to your fingertips as an email, text, or app notification. The first part of this video will help you get started. We will show you how to activate your account and set your preferences. You will need to activate your account. You should have received an email or text from ParentSquare with instructions on how to activate your account. If you did not receive anything from ParentSquare, please visit ParentSquare.com and click Sign In. Simply enter your email or cell phone number here and click Go to receive the activation email or text. Now you can create your password and log into ParentSquare. Now that you've activated your account, go to ParentSquare.com and click Sign In. You will enter your email or cell phone number and your password and click Sign In to enter the ParentSquare portal. You will come to your school's homepage. This homepage will only show information that directly relates to your child or children at the school, plus the school-wide announcements. In the top right corner, you will see your name. Click the drop-down menu and click My Account. Here on the My Account page, you can see your account information and you can choose your notification and language preferences. Click Change This under Notification Settings. You can get an email only, a text only, or both. You also have the option to get an instant or digest message. A digest message arrives via email at 6 o'clock p.m. each day and includes all messages for the day. Remember to click Save if you make any changes. Under Language Settings, you can click Change This to receive messages in another language. We recommend you download our free app if you have an iPhone or Android phone. This is the easiest way for you to see all messages, upcoming events, volunteer opportunities, photos, and files all in one place. Thank you for joining ParentSquare, where you can stay engaged and connected with your vibrant school community. Hello parents! ParentSquare was designed with you in mind, a simple platform to keep track of all you need to know regarding your child's school community. Our ParentSquare app makes it easy to view all timely notifications which alert you to important school-wide classroom and school group news and events. You are only notified about items that relate to your child or children. Parents can view all school events, see shared photos or files, Sign up to help with your child's jogathon or pay for a school play ticket. Let's get started. There are three easy steps. The first is to download the iPhone or Android mobile ParentSquare app. The second step is to enter your email or cell phone number that is registered with your school. You can also sign in with a Google account. You will then enter your password and click sign in. If you forget your password, you can always click forgot password to get a reset. And finally, step number three, you will start receiving all relevant school information for your child. Here on your home screen, you can scroll down to view all the posts that have been sent. If you click on the title of any post, you can view the entire message and see any requests. This post has a calendar event. You can click Add to My Devices Calendar to put it on your calendar. If you scroll down, you can see the full message. In the bottom right, you can click Add Comment. Here you can ask a follow-up question or show your appreciation. Add your comment and click Submit. Here you can see your comment. The person that posted the message can reply. If we scroll up to the top of the message, you can see three requests. The first request is an item for purchase. If you click here, you can select your quantity. You can select your payment, enter in your credit card information, and you can pay for this item. Secondly, you see a wish list. If you click here, you can see items that have been requested. If you click on the arrow next to an item, you can enter in a quantity, you can add a short note, and when you click Save, it will automatically sign you up for that item. You can see a star next to the items that you've signed up for. 
The third request is for volunteers. If you click on volunteer, you can click the arrow next to the task that you want to volunteer for. You can add a short note and when you click save, you will be signed up for that volunteer request. Again, you'll see a star there. If you do sign up for a wish list item or to volunteer, you will automatically be reminded the day before. Next to the subject of a post, you will see a heart. If you click on that heart, you can show your appreciation. At the top, next to posts, you will see notices. Here you can view any attendance notices that have been sent from the school. I want to walk you through the tabs on the bottom of the app. Let's click on Messages next to the Home button. Here you can view any messages from staff or teachers. If you click on the plus sign, you can send a direct message to a staff member or teacher. Click on Message. In the To section, you will see a plus sign. Here you can view a list of your child's teachers and select anyone. You can also type out the first three letters of the person's name and select that person. Down below, you will type your message here. And when you are ready, you will click Send. Messages allows you to type in your home language for instant translation. Next to the Message tab, you will see Events. You can click on any day that has a circle around it. At the top, you can click on the list icon to see all dates and events as well. If you would like to sync the school calendar with your personal calendar, you can click the ladder icon in the top left. Under Account, you can click Preferences, and here you can select Automatically Add Events to Calendar. Next to the Events tab is the Media tab. Here you can view all photos, all videos that have been shared, and all files that have been shared by the school. This is an excellent electronic resource for you as parents. Next to the Media tab is the More tab. You can see your school directory. You can see any important links the school has shared. You can view all signups and RSVPs. You can see all tasks that have been requested and you can see your tasks that you have signed up for. You can view any forms or permission slips that have been shared for electronic signatures. You can see all payment requests and any polls that have been sent out. In the top left corner, you will see the ladder icon. Under the Schools tab, you can view all school sites under your account. ParentsWare makes it easy to keep track of all school communication and information for multiple children and school sites. Under the Account tab, you will see My Account and Preferences. If, if you click My Account, you can see your account information and you can see any payments or completed forms. You can also change your password or sign out. Under Preferences, again, you can sync your calendar. Let's click on Notification Settings. Here you can decide how you would like to be notified. Would you like to receive an email, text, or app notification, or a combination of those? You can also decide when you would like to be notified. Would you like an instant message? Or if you have an email, you can get a digest email that comes at six o'clock with all the messages for the day. Go ahead and make your notification selections. ParentSquare also allows you to change your language setting. You can choose your preferred language here. Under the About tab, you can see our terms and agreements and view the full ParentSquare site. Here in our help and support area, you can view our help topics and help pages. You can chat with a live agent right from the app. You can submit a help ticket and you can view any tickets that you do have. So download our ParentSquare app today. We want to make sure you stay connected. So activate your account and log in right on the ParentSquare app. Make sure your school has your correct email and mobile phone number and go ahead and set your notification preferences in ParentSquare. You can also register from parents, for ParentSquare from the app. ParentSquare makes it easy to register for ParentSquare from the app. Follow the steps below. One, open up the ParentSquare app. Enter your email or cell phone number. The email and or cell phone number should match what is in your school's information system or focus. If your email or phone number is not recognized by ParentSquare, you can request access or call your school office and ask them to update your contact information. Next, create your password and confirm your password, then click Continue. You will receive a registration code via email or text. Enter your registration code and click Verify. 
This will take you to the ParentSquare home feed. If your registration link has expired, a new one will need to be sent to you. Please contact your school's admin and ask for a new link to be sent to you. Notification settings. ParentSquare allows users to customize their notifications based on notification type and select their preferred delivery method for each school. Notification types include emergency and student notices, can, which cannot be disabled, school alerts, general announcements, and messages. For general announcements, you can also select if you would like to receive instant or digest email. App and text notifications. If the digest is chosen, then you will receive an email and or text and or an app notification every day in the evening with all posts from that day. The digest option combines all the no notifications that you would have received throughout the day into one notification at your chosen time at the evening. Update your notification pre preferences in the web portal. On your homepage, select the down arrow next to your name and click on My Account. Next, select Customize Your Settings under Notification Settings. Three, select your preferred settings by clicking on the pencil icon next to each notification type and click Save in the pop-up dialog. You can change your notification settings for general announcements and messages, notification frequency, notification frequency in the app. You can update your notification preferences in the mobile app. From your home screen, click the triple bar in the top left corner. Click on account, then preferences. Click on Notification Settings. Select how you would like to be notified. Password Change or Reset. You can reset or change your password from both our web browser or the app. Read below to find out how. Reset Password on a Web Browser. 1. Sign out of your ParentSquare account and go to http slash www.parentsquare.com slash sign in. Click on Forgot Password under the Password field. Enter the email address or phone number associated with your ParentSquare account and click Go. If you enter an email address or phone number that is not associated with your ParentSquare account, you will be taken to a form to provide information to your school to add you in. This may take a day or so. Please follow up with your child's school. If you entered your cell phone number associated with your ParentSquare account, you will receive directions to reset your password via text. If you entered your email address associated with your ParentSquare account, check your email inbox for an email from ParentSquare and click Reset Your Password. Follow the instructions to create a new password. Reset Password on the app. If you're signed into the app, click on the three vertical bars at the top left. Click on Account, then click Change Password. If you are signed out of the app, enter in the email address or phone number associated with your ParentSquare account. Click Continue, then click Forgot Change Password. Enter in your new password. Check your email inbox or text for your reset password code. Type in the six-digit code into the reset password code box and click continue. Users should be able to see all of their children and schools in one ParentSquare account. Examples could include, you're a parent and you do not see any or all of your children in the same district in your account when you log in. You are a district staff member and you do not see your children in your account when you log in. You are a staff or parent in one district and you do not see any or all of your children from another district in your account when you log in. 
If you are missing a child or a school, it may be because you have more than one parent square account with different contact information. Your contact information is inconsistent across the school's student information systems. For example, the screenshots below show a parent with an email at one school and a phone number at another. As a result, they have two accounts. For example, if you are employed in Calhoun County School District, but you have children that go to school in Liberty County who also uses Parent Square, you should still only have one account. If you do not see your children in Liberty County in your Parent Square account in Calhoun County, then contact information is not matched. You need to contact your child's school or, your, or the school where you're employed and make sure that information matches. To add a child or school, please contact your schools directly to update your contact information. Ensure you have the same email and phone number on file for all children and all schools. We sync with the school database nightly. The day after the change is made at your school, you should be able to log out and log back in to ParentSquare to see your updated information. Staff members who are also parents. If you are a staff member and a parent, multiple accounts will be created for you if you have a staff email account on your staff record and a personal email address on your parent record. You have two choices. One, a staff member can choose to have two parent square accounts, one with their staff email address used for the teacher's staff account and a personal email address used for the parent account. A staff member can have one parent square account with only one email address. Some districts require this email to be district issued. Please check with your school district. To have one account, contact your child's school to update your contact information in the SIS, which is Focus, to your staff email address. Verify that each of your children have the same email address and mobile phone number listed for you. Delete your parent square user accounts the account or accounts that do not have the correct email address. Choose delete when accessing your account in ParentSquare. Your account will be corrected when we sync with the SIS. If the contact information has been made consistent across accounts in the SIS and the ParentSquare accounts with the, in, with the incorrect contact information have been deleted, then when we sync with Focus, your associations will be pulled into one ParentSquare account. If the process didn't work and you have made certain information matches in all accounts, you can submit a request that we merge your staff and parent accounts. To do that, email the following to support at parentsquare.com, your name, the schools at which you have accounts, and your staff email address and phone number to use on the merged account. Update your email address, phone number, or home address. For most schools, ParentSquare syncs contact information directly from the school's student information system, or FOCUS. We are not able to update your contact information because the changes will revert back during the night to sync with the information you receive in the school. If you need to update your contact information, contact your school. Verify that each of your children have the same email address listed for you, mobile phone number, and address. It is extremely important that when you change email addresses, phone numbers, contact information of any kind, you let your school know so that we can update it in focus in order to keep the information in Parent Square up to date. If the contact information has been updated in focus, Parent Square, Square will reflect the updated contact information following the overnight sync. Language settings. Parent Square allows you to change your language settings if users would like to get posts in a different language. On the home page, select the down arrow next to your name. This will be in the upper right hand corner of the page. Click on My Account. Select Change This under the language settings. Select your preferred language from the drop down menu and click Save. Language settings on the iOS app, if you have an Apple phone. 
On the home page, select the three bars on the upper right corner of the page. Click on Accounts, then Preferences. From the Preferences screen, select Language Setting. Once you select your preferred language, it will be updated and saved. The Parent Dashboard. When a parent logs into ParentSquare, they can view their children easily. Parents will see all children associated with their ParentSquare account, even if their child is at another school site within the district or network. The Post tab allows parents to view all posts that pertain to each child. The Messages tab allows parents to view any messages from the teacher or staff. Parents can also send a message to a teacher or staff member if you have a question. Click New Message to start your message. This feature is optional and can be turned off by your school administrator. At this time, we have no intentions of turning that off. Parent Square is going to replace Remind and Group Text. Class Dojo or any other variety of methods that teachers have traditionally been using to contact parents. All parent communication will be through Parent Square, unless it's a direct phone call from the parent to the school. Under Recipients, you can also type out the name of the staff member you want to contact. Under Quick Select Recipients, you can also select your child's teacher. Type your message and click Send. The Classes tab allows parents to view your child's classes. The Parent Dashboard on the mobile app. When a parent logs into ParentSquare via the app, they will see all children associated with their ParentSquare account, even if their child is at another school site within a district or network. The Post tab allows parents to view all the posts that pertain to each child. The Messages tab allows parents to view any messages from teachers or staff. Parents can also send a message to teacher or staff members if you have a question. Click the plus symbol on the right hand side corner. To start your message, click on the Message tab. Under Recipients, you can also type out the names of the staff member you want to contact under Quick Select Recipients. You can also select your child's teacher. Type your message and click Send. The Classes tab allows parents to view your child's classes. Change your password or sign out. Add a phone or email to a user account. Many schools do not allow you to change your account information. You will need to contact your school office directly to update your email or phone number. We are allowing you to uh, update your account information. However, it will not override the settings in Focus. So if you are updating your phone number, you need to be sure and contact the school and let them know that your number has changed. Make sure the school updates your information in Focus in order to keep the information in Parent Square and Focus the same. Click on your name towards the top right and click My Account. On your phone, click the three bars to get your account page. Click Edit Account towards the top right. Add your phone or email and click Save. Adding a phone or email to another user's account. Search for a user in School Directory and select the name to bring up the user's account. Click Edit account. Add phone or email and click Save.
Parent Square is designed to um, visually resemble social media like Facebook. You can appreciate a post much like you can like a post on Facebook. Users can appreciate a post. Give them generously. Teachers and school leaders love your feedback. On the iOS app, you will click the heart icon. Parent Square is a two-way form of communication. When a message is posted, users can ask a follow-up question or make a comment. Avoid negativity. Please refrain from comments about any teacher, parent, or child, or other individual or group. Please keep all comments positive. Click comment under post. Type your comment or question and click comment. Comment notifications. Schools can choose to enable public or private comments. Most schools have private comments. Public comments. Users can view all public comments made on a post they receive and receive emails if they are part of the comment thread. For private comments, only the person commenting and the person that posted the message can view the comments. The person that posted can reply and only, co and only commenter can see the reply. That is our current setting. If your school has comments set to public, you can select to have your comment to be private so that it is not visible to other parents. If your school has comments set to private, you cannot elect to have your comments be public. In order to make our, your comment private, click on the lock and you will see the status of your comment change from public to private. What's the difference between a comment and a reply? The poster can determine if they want the reply to go back to the person that commented or to everyone in the comment thread. A reply is used when the comment only pertains to the person that commented. Note, if public comments are on in your school, all school, all users at that school will see the replies if logged in, but it will not get notified. Comments. Use these when everyone in the comment thread would benefit from the note. So a reply goes directly back to the person who made the post. A comment is for everyone. Just like in social media, you can reply directly to a comment or you can make a new comment. Automatic two-way translation. Comments on posts are automatically translated to the user's preferred language. Users can click View Original in order to see what the comment, commenter wrote in their language. Comment on a post via iOS app. 1. Click on the speech balloon emoji at the top left corner of the post. Click on Add Comment. Type your comment or questions and click on Done, then Submit. For more information on how to use ParentSquare, go to ParentSquare.Zendesk.com.